everybody, it's Katai here, back again, with another Skyrim adventure. This is uh, uh, our uh, Vigilant. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> still bad. It's, I still can't get rid of this laryngitis. <clears throat> I feel like I've had it forever. Um, but it, it's just... Yeah, it's just something I deal with once a year, every year, especially this time of year. And being a mom, having a bunch of kids, having three kids, um, <clears throat> they're always sick. So either caught it from one of them, or again, like, I know I was fine, and then I go get my flu shot, because I gotta get one every year now for my job. Um, and also my kids will bring it home, and I don't feel like having it. Ever since I got it, I've just been sick. Luckily, no fevers, just, <clears throat> excuse me, just a lot of gunk in my throat. And the doctors are like, it's just a, just laryngitis, just a cold. <laughs> Sometimes they take up to two weeks to go away. And you probably should have had your tonsils taken out a long time ago. I was like, yeah, but it's ain't in my tonsils, it's in my larynx. It's like all well, your larynx, your epiglottis, your, you know, your, your tonsils, all the area so you know it's like well my tonsils work still they're like oh well, yeah they're fine but you know still I'm like look if it ain't broke don't fix it if it really is causing all this I'm too old to have my tonsils removed anyway because the older you get you have any kind of surgery like that more complications and I'm like you know what I'll deal with it <clears throat> so here I am dealing with it got my can of seltzer water actually um i'm drinking drink more water drink more fluids have some ginger ale honestly best thing for you ginger beer it's not it's not alcoholic it's distilled vinegar it and vinegar i'm such i'm such an idiot anymore i'm tired i'm overtired i'm overstimulated <clears throat> it's distilled ginger and ginger and, and cane sugar and it's distilled uh like you would brew brew it but it's uh, uh, carbonated, so it's, you know, it's distilled uh, uh, ginger, the alcohol is removed, and you have the soda. And it's delicious. If people can, like, people like ginger and ginger ale, and ginger is a little bit spicier, go for it. It actually works better, I found, than ginger ale. It helps me more than uh, ginger ale. So... <clears throat> how I battled this but anywho we uh, um, okay so basically quick rundown from the last episode we had to follow these three people <clears throat> in the town of Dawnstar and tail them at night we had uh, um, Irian or Ira not Irolith <clears throat> Irene uh, she's a worshipper of Debella so she's up worshipping Debella um, Varith was out, he's the lighthouse keeper, so he wasn't doing anything as suspicious, so we followed Harold, and Harold, uh, turns out to be, he's a, the Daedric worshiper, and we chased him under here, excuse me, I burped, I'm sorry, it wasn't ladylike, but I can't help it, <laughs> we followed him, uh, in here in the mine, and he attacked us, you know that episode I had to end it a little on the early side because my son was sick he actually had the flu again got a flu shot and he got the flu <clears throat> he was actually sick and not feeling good so I had to end it a little bit early but basically we read his uh, Harold's journal let's see miners no there we go uh, the door to the temple is finished. Look for two rugs in a crate at the far end of the mine. Walk down the shaft to the dead end. On your right should be a button. Press it and the door will open. So we went and we followed it. <clears throat> and here are the rugs with the mining picks. <clears throat> here are the rugs. And here are two more rugs right here. 
Oh, Karim's heart. This is um, this is uh, um, the the spell knight armor. Oh, smithy increased. There's a, a quest for uh, the spell knight armor. You have to go to Markarth for that. But I think it's like the notes for it or whatever. It's the heart or something, and you get the spell knight armor. I should get that. <clears throat> We're not, we're not really doing that right now, but here we go and you go back here. Here's a button. We didn't press the button yet But we are so <clears throat> So uh, uh, yeah, um, Liara is gonna be like so this is what he you know that, that Harold attacked us and she defended herself and smited him or smote him I'm gonna press the button Opens rather silently. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she's gonna press it, it's gonna open, and she's like, she's just ready. Just ready to defend herself against whoever is here. There's another button. Just going to <clears throat> just slowly creep in. And there's an altar there, what looks like Molag Ball. And there's a bunch of people worshipping it. So, I don't know, this might be a little... <clears throat> OP. Failed. Read the miners. No, um, I don't know how I failed it. I did read it. Find the cult of danger worshippers. Destroy the cult of danger worshippers. So there's four of them. It looks like they got people in their coffin. Oh, that's right. Most uh, followers are Molek Baal or vampires. So, just four people. <clears throat> it's like, uh, probably should have come here and had help. But, you know, none of the vigilants are there to help us. She's like, I just want to get a closer look. Sneak quietly. She's like, what are they doing? Just looking, she's like, oh, Is that an altar to Molek Baal? This... This is not good. She's just gonna be like, This is not good. Right here under the dawn star, everybody's feet. Is that blood coming out of that fountain? This is horrible. Oh no. <clears throat> so we have two, let's see, potions, alright, so we're pretty good on potions, I'm gonna, some of those, you have our vigilant armor, resist magic ring, okay, <clears throat> minor magic, I mean, this would be great, but I don't have a shield. Uh, this would increase my magic by 40 points, but I need my armor rating. So I'm probably, you know what? I think I'm going to disenchant these two things and apply it to my armor. <clears throat> spells. So my spells are quite lacking because she is really just new. Let me get a little closer look to see what they're saying or doing. Are they going to attack me when I go over there? Or, you know, are we... <clears throat> they going to say, like, hey, what are you doing here? I mean, these three are all wearing like normal clothes but still it doesn't mean anything on their magic abilities could be good the, this guy right here he's wearing like full armor so he's probably powerful so we're gonna have to take him out first <clears throat> so I'm gonna go you know um, she would confront them they're gonna attack yep vampires Empires are weak against fire. Then 
smite, foul creature. What have you done to these people? Got more where that comes from. Burn! I stand us mercy by fire be purged. <clears throat> Ooh, <he's> switching. <laughs> by fire be purged. Let all unholy and foul magics and corruption be purged from you. Trade your order, Fenric. And vigilant corrupted armor. We're not gonna take this because it's corrupted. And that is just ew. You can see the corruption in it. So we're gonna leave that for his journal. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me take a drink for this. <clears throat> He was chasing Fenric, and Fenric was a friend. Yeah, Fenric betrayed the, the, the vigilance. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Azarain once told me I was the strongest warrior in all of Tamriel. But that is a lie. A strong man would have ended his life long ago. He would have delivered Stendar's justice upon his soul. I am weak. I am a weak man, and so I live. The Vigil teaches us that vampires are an abomination to be destroyed without mercy. But in my cowardice, I began to entertain the blasphemous <clears throat> that vampirism had a cure. Never has the subject been broached by the keepers. After all, the very idea that these creatures were capable of salvation would threaten the principles of the order. So to learn more, I sought the aid of the very monster I have sworn to oppose. Molag Baal's price was steep. I was to gather thralls and build an altar deep in the mines of Dawnstar for the purposes that would only become clear as the nights went on. So um, to that shrine, I was to sacrifice the lives of nine of my brothers and sisters one for each divine. <clears throat> At times my resolve <clears throat> has waved, but the prince has offered proof in the form of Galor Rathari. His excerpts prove that a cure exists. Through a dream of being sliced by thousands of tiny knives from my bowels inside out. Okay. <clears throat> As the town speaks of nightmares, and the presence of Vermina. I now see why Dawnstar was chosen for this unholy vigil. With only three sacrifices left, the ritual is almost complete. No doubt Azarain will see that will see this is treachery, which is why I cannot bring myself to sacrifice him. But with every vigil that lies that dies at our hand, it only calcifies my resolve. The weakness of my mind does not betray the strength of my will. For all my cowardice, I am worth the souls of a dozen men. If I rejoin the vigil, more lives will be saved in the end. Perhaps when the accounting is done, Stendar will show me mercy. Wow, he was delusional. Take this back to... <clears throat> I'm going to take this back our leader vampire thrall vampire dust comes in handy squire this can be broken down sold <clears throat> ring of alteration ring of restoration Need a, I don't have a lantern, do I? No, I have torches. <clears throat> She's gonna like gasp when she sees the vigilance there dead. <gasps> no, my 
brothers and sisters. This can't be. Now the potions they need to take. So many. What in Stendhal's name is blood one of our enforcers? Well, it doesn't look much different, I think, than what I'm wearing. But this is blasphemous. <clears throat> this is blasphemy. Unholy blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. I'm gonna take these back. That. I will do with that later to see what else that they were up to. Galler Athari's papers. This is private papers of Galler Athari, Boyant, Armager. Let's see if you want to pause and read it. I, this is a longer book, so I'm not really going to read the whole thing. Skim through it, shame by my corruption. Clan on day. May no <clears throat> may no human my prey, only beasts. Drawn by imitations of my life. Former post of Balor. Hmm. <clears throat> Lord of Troubles, Moloch Ballad, an altar deep in the caverns beneath the Pilgrim Shrine. I was surprised and thrilled and terrified when Moloch Bal, or some sort of aspect or agent of the Dejrak Lord, offered me a chance to cure myself of vampirism in return for a favor. However, with no hope for my soul or spirit unless I might be cured, I undertook this quest. <clears throat> So it's all worn off. Daughter. Place the gem within the basin. Was sliced by thousands of knives. All right, so this I guess is. Curing vampirisms is amulet standard. We'll take that back. Ugh. This is a fine sword. See that it's put to good use. Books we all have. It's in here. <clears throat> See that goes towards repairs. She's just gonna look at that altar and just be like, the smell of the blood is just making her nauseous. Those werewolves. Ugh. And she's like, after she feels ill, she's just like, I need to get away. Ugh. And she's going to gag. <clears throat> what? In oblivion. By the divine. Hot. The silver hand. The werewolf hunters. The 
this might come in handy against werewolves. This is a fine helmet. Silvered. Take that as well. Notes on dissection. And she's like, I'm gonna gag. She's just like, huh. <clears throat> We were to leave the vigilance for the ritual, but this one fought with the silver hand. It was not clear who his master was. After we fed, uh, by the Kinnereth. After we fed, the master bade us to examine the body to see what else we could learn of our condition. Bone anatomy seems largely unchanged. Blood and organ samples have been taken to the alchemist. The bite marks on the shoulder were curious. Need to rule out possibility of werewolf contamination. Was this a werewolf? Or somebody afflicted? This is just horrendous. By the gods, piles of bones. This is horrid. She's just gonna look around like absolutely horrid. You. More like Baal. She's just going to smell the blood and just, just vomit, just... <coughs> I have to get back to the Vigilance. They have to know about this. This is horrible. Rest now, my brothers and sisters. Rest now with Stendhal in his mercy. Your deaths will be avenged. See to that this place is razed and destroyed. I mean, Dawnstar is right above it, but that. It's going to run out of here. Come back to harvest some of this quicksilver. It's going to be good in fighting vampires. And... I'm absolutely certain that this mine is clear of any and all corruption. <clears throat> These people are living here and working and not even knowing the danger little boy seeing this child little boy mm -hmm. what are you doing down here where are your parents They're dead my pa was a oh. took me with him on his last trip after he got sick so the adoptable kids put us off here and he, <clears throat> with us. he died a few days later i've tried to make do since then but it's been hard. Real hard. Well, I can imagine. I cannot adopt you. I cannot adopt you right now. I mean, you could live with us at the Vigil of Stendar, but... Well, where are you hurrying to? I'm food and supplies to the miners. Don't pay much, but... Let me see by the fire <clears throat> in the end most nights. Most nights. I'm late. Gotta run. Well, I can... Imagine, boy. Come. Move it, move it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> it's one of the adoptable kids. I was running around in no shoes. Alright, alright, I know, we're loading. Hurry up, I don't have all night. Need some shoes, child. Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. 
Well, I would say so, but that that boy. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damn shopkeepers. Well, I would never imagine so, but that child needs proper shoes. And I guess working by the forge is hot, but it's freezing. <clears throat> that child needs proper Hello. I'm all ears. Might I ask about your silver sword, good sir? Huh? Your sword. I'm all ears. No? All right then. Only those who hunt monsters carry silver weapons. As shady as he appears. It's unusual. Alright, so, I mean, we pretty much completed that. Let me go back to the... the vigilance back to the halls of the vigilance to see if there's anything that opened <clears throat> sometimes there is sometimes there isn't oh that's a good thing I'm back because I'm rather hungry brother you speak to a vigilant of Stendhal, cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Well, I should know that because I am one of you. <sighs> I think he's touched in the mind. The the vigil will be... The vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. The mercy of Stendar does not keep a car set. I think there's some things you should know. Like, I know what's dangerous about Daedra. And their heretical artifacts grant powers to mortals that wreak havoc across Tamriel. They must be destroyed or gone. There's something that you. <clears throat> Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. I know, it's something you should know. There's an altar of the damned below Dawnstar. I've cleansed <clears throat> I've cleansed the worshippers and smited them. But it it was bad. It's a blood altar to Molag Baal. She'll keep an eye on this. And they're also killing members of the Silver Hand as well. We do know that they don't get along, but... I mean, these creatures are just growing even more powerful. Is there anything else that you're going to do about it? Keep her. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. And we will show them no mercy. Stendar Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendar will cast the them in cause will not go unpunished. And they will be punished, rightfully so. Alright, check my inventory. <clears throat> and the silver hand armor is pretty awesome. It's better in approving, and it looks warmer too. But I mean, that is a rather wicked looking helmet. That is awesome. <laughs> that is rather awesome. I don't know if we'll switch over that yet. Oh, weapon wise. I know I just picked up that elvish sword, so. Yeah. Keep the sword. <clears throat> well, we have to do something about about the vampires. If the silver hand is still actively hunting werewolves, which they were, but <sighs> well, are we going to do anything?
Brother. Mercy of Stendhal. Just walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. Of course. The vigil will be watching you. Will not go unpunished. Well, I mean, I shall bring the fight to. I shall bring the light of Stendhal and the light of Stendhal's mercy to everybody I meet. Just. Something has to be done about that altar. <clears throat> I guess, I don't know, I guess the Keeper of Carset would be like, well, of course, but, I mean, just go and, basically go and spread Stendar's word. Root them all out. Nothing more that I could be done here, and she's basically, alright, they are, take the fight to, take the fight to the danger. That is just what we're going to do. Stock up on some provisions. Wherever the Daedra hide, the angel of Stendhal will cast them into the light. Oh, might as well just just wander. <clears throat> and we will drag most of them to. Stendhal does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Nope. Right. Can set forth on my mission to rid Skyrim of Daedra once and for all. And then there's a tell of a warrior bishop. <clears throat> there's a warrior bishop named Hemond that is now a priest of Mara. Maybe I could reach out to him. Need somebody that powerful with the vigilance. Well, shall go to the inns and every inn and every tavern possible. <clears throat> Speak to everybody possible and just help out where she can. Of course, we're going to <clears throat> join the Dawn Guard missions here. The Vigilance of Stendar are just zealots. And she's kind of starting to see that they are, you know, they're very focused on ridding Daedra, but there's corruption. There's corruption amongst them, and that's not good, and <clears throat> the numbers are a few in between, and seeing. Those altars there at a Moloch Ball, that's rather troubling. So let's see. Quests. Let's see. <clears throat> Quests are it's always good helping. Helping people. Collecting special books. Dwemer technology, and it's just... Dwemer technology is science and sorcery, and to the Vigilance, they're just like, eh, well, there's a reason why the Dwemer are extinct, because, you know, they're blas you know, blasphemers. Banning, looking for pelts, the Huntsman's looking for pelts, and she's like, I'd rather not kill creatures of the Divines or Kinneris, uh, creatures if I don't have to. Collecting fire salts, medicines, yeah, alchemy, gold. <clears throat> Deliver a missive for Athena. Dengir is looking for armor, a bounty on a giant. Giants are very dangerous. And yeah, I really don't want to be hunting giants. Have you ever wild Bathar? More Dwemer ruins. Don't want to do that. Rescue Citizen Azada. Might have to do that. And Beasts. Well, not really a slayer of animals. Or anything like that. But rescuing a citizen in distress. That's something a Vigilant Stendar could get behind. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. 
What's he doing out here alone? Speak to him. It's rather dark out. Ahoy, Dawn Star. Be known all the pale sea squall. Ships the soul sign. Did you know that if you are reading this, you are running out of time? That's rather concerning. Do not go to Hilgren's tomb. Don't go to Hilgren's tomb. It's full of walking dead. That will suck the soul right out of you just by looking at you. By the eight, it's cursed. It's a cursed place. I saw them with my own eyes. So, Hilgren's tomb. Have you seen Hodlin? Looking for someone who is dear to me. Hodlin is his name. I have not heard from him for many months now, and I fear the worst. He is tall, has light brown hair, and a handsome face. The last I knew, he was boarding the Brian Hammer from Solitude here to Dawnstar, but the ship never arrived, so it might have sank. Let's see. A museum opening. Silvus Vesius. <clears throat> Mythic Dawn. Our main attraction is a secret for now. I already know I can reveal that Mysterium Xarxes. And she's like, she's gonna, I would feel she knows what the Mysterium Xarxes was. And if anybody um, who knows Oblivion or has played Oblivion, you know that is the book from Mancar Cameron, who's the head of the Mythic Dawn cult that killed Emperor Uriel Septim. I think he was the seventh. Brought an end to the Septim dynasty, except for Martin Septim, who was like his half son, who was actually an avatar of Akatosh and a dragonborn. <clears throat> <clears throat> or at least he had the dragon blood. I still say he was a dragonborn, but... <clears throat> he decided to be a priest instead. But that was the head of the Mythic Dawn cult that worshipped Maroon's Dagon. Brought him to from Oblivion and opened all those Oblivion gates in the Daedric. So she, I feel she, as a, as a vigilant, she would know that. And it's just like baffling. She's like, wait, what? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, exhibit the very book of the Daedric Prince himself. I will speak with this Silvus Vestius. Absolutely not. This is a fine vessel, the hell is folly. Visit my store at the Mortar, Wandering Skyrim Part 1. Anything that can lead her to possible things of Daedra, vampires and stuff, she's like, I'm going to look into. But this, this museum in this town, I mean, the hour is rather late, but horrendous. I am going to speak with this Silvus. Is he out of his blasted mind? Let me know if you want. I think I got a clean mug in here somewhere. Oh, good sir, I would rather hope you would. Oh, uh, well, I'm back again. At least everybody looks in good spirits. The nightmares have stopped from me and his influence is gone. I'm sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink? Your mind was elsewhere, really. I'm, may I please have a refill of water? Of course. Thank you. And let's see, sail. Yes, I'm, I am rather famished. Um, I'm not a big fish person. <laughs> Cheese is, is delightful, yes. An apple, some leeks. You know, it's never... And a good honey treat. Have you heard any rumors lately? Suspicious activity to Helgen, you say? Legion patrols have been spotted. 
Well, I mean, the Imperial Legion is doing something. I'd rather not get involved. That is a rather lovely tune you're playing. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna rent a room. Oh, do you need a room? Yes, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I can only imagine what has you distracted. Well, I can see what's got you exhausted. Exhausted. And <laughs> distracted. <clears throat> see what has him distracted. Get a good night's sleep and find this this museum <laughs> this museum of uh, uh, horrendous antiquity oh I mean I can see why he's distracted but I mean going to say her singing is something to be much. Animals in the pale don't need a reason to attack the Dawn Star. It's just their nature. Well, lumbering creatures were not stampede in here unless somebody has stampeded them. Cardin. <laughs> <clears throat> Kaiden. Oh. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. 3 a.m. Really? Kind of underslept, but. Yeah, she grows restless and. The vigilant of Stendar is always that vigilant. Berries come in handy. Who do you think we're threatening with our old war wounds? We're not soldiers anymore. No man Horik is wearing his old Legion armor. What should I make of that? He's proud of his service, Skull. Hmm. The Legion taught us loyalty and we're loyal to Dawnstar. Uh, more politics. Not this my business. I catch you sending one letter to General Tully. Really? I swear these past thirty years you've been at my side and I think I've been politics and their Yao here is rather scary. Obviously supports the storm cloaks. But a little zealous about it. Can't get back there. This pine tree. Well, all looks to be in order. Frost took my husband years ago. Guard. He was a good man. Well, all looks to be in good order. Staying safe, I hope. Of course. Children all grew up and left Dawnstar to make their fortune. Dark and snowing. It's like I see nothing out of the sort. Just gonna wait a little bit. <clears throat> Should have just went back and slept. But you know, it's daylight saving time. A bit hungry, a bit thirsty. Let's see. Well, I don't know where this museum is. I don't see it. <clears throat> proper steel. 
This is the steel of a vigilant good, sir. Well, I see no such museum, so... I think we will be alright. Alright? Hmm. This weather is something to be, uh, uh, to be desired. I helped my husband Rust run the forge. He's a marvel with steel. He is. Need a dagger? No? How about a claymore? I don't know about a claymore. I think that would be a little bit too much for me. I do have this elvish blade. The finest weapons and armor. Um. I do wish to trade with you if I'm going to make my pilgrimage to make sure that I am well supplied. Uh, I can sell you this and that. The maces treated me well enough. These boots you could have. And an elvish blade needs moon steel or moon. Stone. I don't have any. Come back if you need steel. I married Russ late when he was apprentice under my father. Oh, you married your father's apprentice. That's that's very sweet. <coughs> uh. Need something? Boy, you need to wear proper shoes and, and attire for the yes. cold. A couple of years, come see us, and we'll make you a vigilant. A little young at this point. Oh, the Khajiit. And she'll definitely know of the Khajiit, and kind of like she's not really. I wouldn't say prejudiced <clears throat> against like any race particular. Just people who worship, just the unnatural, the supernatural creatures, the, da the Daedra, the vampires, the werewolves, the werebears, anything that's not. Man, mer, or, or cat. Or Argonian. She, but, I mean, she wouldn't have any problems with the Kaji. She wouldn't want anything really to do with them all that much. But, you know, just really... Not really anything to do with them. She, does, she doesn't dislike them. She's just like, oh, it's Kaji. Like, bigger things to worry about. I mean, everybody hears the rumors, oh, Kaji, Kajits are, <clears throat> you know, Kajits are, you know, they, uh, um, you know what, I could take the ferry boat, take the ferry boat to Solitude and then get a wagon, go to the rift, probably be better, yeah, it'd be my best bet, do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> run all the way to solitude and take the ferry for a couple of septums. Gonna run because it's cold. those two are talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Looking to hire a boat? Yes, please. I can take you to any port on the coast. Any? Well, I would definitely like to hire what your you boat. Have? Um. What the hell? Alright, let me take me to the capital. Can you please take me to... Actually, Windhelm would probably be better. Yeah. Take me to Windhelm. Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. Old capital, Skyrim. Old capital of Skyrim, Windhelm. She's like, if anybody will have any thing, it'll be an old city like that. And because it's the Stormcloaks, some could be some corruption there that we could root out.
It is wicked dark. <laughs> it is dark. I need. I definitely. You know what? I gotta get a travel lantern. <clears throat> Missive from Thana. I am looking for someone to deliver a missive for me. If you want to earn some gold, seek me out. Thana of Winterhold. Uh, Winterhold's not too far. It's up there. We need a horse. Don't have enough gold, so we're just gonna have to wander. It's no secret the Aretina boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. Who's going to stop me? Me? Oh, I should understand. Child summoning... Child summoning the Dark Brotherhood. That sounds... Awful. Oh, I, I don't... She's like, I, I don't know what to do about that. Well, the guards know about it then. Someone stole your sweet roll? I don't need too many sweet rolls, honey. I'm trying to watch this girlish figure. Go to Windhelm, see what we could do from here. <clears throat> I feel like maybe I can get a travel lantern around here. Stay away from the Aretino residence. The place is cursed. Cursed. Well, my vigilance of Stendar. I know how to deal with curses. But if the child is trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood, then that's something even a vigilant doesn't want to deal with. Eat our food and pollute our city with your stinking, and you refuse to help the storm close. Mm. You should unload some of that on the <clears throat> Head over to Sadri's used wares. Talk to the Imperial spies. Ah, uh, well, this gear may be unuseful to you, but it's useful to me. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Excuse me. How dare you? The dark elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, I don't hate your people. Why were they talking to you that way? City, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking, unworthy of one such as you. It look like those Nords are giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hmm. of the morning. It is awful. <clears throat> well, why would you think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awful. I've heard of the prejudices in Windhelm and... It would seem some of them are true. Oh, there he is. Oh, the arrow, ignore him. This is not for you to deal with. We ought to dig a big hole. Cool. <clears throat> Slay the Undead located in Haldir's Cairn. Definitely gonna check Them that dark out. Elves and Argonians in it. And let them tear each other to pieces. Excuse me, sir. You. You a dark elf lover? Get out of the <clears throat> city, you filthy piece of trash. Excuse you. Why do you hate them so? They're parasites. <sighs> They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Oh, he's your king. He shouldn't ask your permission for anything. 
You really think they're spies? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor are elves too. I bet they're working together. I Maybe doubt it. Round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. I don't think you should, and I don't like your attitude. I think you should stop this. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours. Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. I don't brawl petty squabbles. However, you deserve to be taught a lesson. Now, I must warn you, I may be a Breton girl, but I do know how to fend for myself, and I was taught how to All fight. Right. Fists only. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Don't raise our fists in anger, really, but I will show you a lesson. I think I'm wearing armor. She's a little OP. Oh, right in the chest. Hmm. There. <sighs> I think I took it rather. Fair swing. Wasn't fair. I think. I think you lost a fair. I believe there's something that you owe me. Yeah. Here. How about an apology? No? I hope you learned your lesson. No, just get drunk and dance around, you fool. Karma. One of these days, the divines will guide you to your ways. And you will be made fool for all to see. Drink. That one disgusts me. And you know what? He'll get what's coming to him. May the divines show you the error of your ways. Let's find this bishop. Let's find this bishop, Hemond, <clears throat> and enlist his help to fight the undead. What I hear of Bishop Heyman, that he's rather opaque. I do think this character is a little on the OP side. <clears throat> I'm on the one's Buffett. Buffed up the uh, uh, <clears throat> animations. So instead of just standing there dazing off like the your character usually does, it's the uh, uh, Leviathan animations mod. I do have the daughters, sons, daughters of Skyrim, or fatherland, uh, daughters of Skyrim, and a couple of other uh, uh, mods I've noticed that they're porting over through Bethesda, which works rather good. Makeup, makeup's a little much for her. I mean, she really should be more plain and simple, but as you could see <clears throat> her stance is different. And so far, so good. It's a beautiful winter night. Need a ride? Yes. Take you to any of, the hold capitals. of course. Do to um, I'm looking to travel to the Riften. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Thank you. We might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Argonians. A few of them work the docks there. Not sure why. They like swimming in the lake, maybe. I mean, there are Argonians, so it's... If the area is warm and wet, as is Black Marsh, apparently. Potiony potions. You wake up as the carriage comes to a halt. Yep, fall asleep in the carriage. I mean, it's not too far of a way to go. Have some of this gazpacho or cold tomato soup. Oof. 
She didn't even drink it mead. Let's see, I know... Yeah, she gonna know the corruption of the city? Not really. <clears throat> We're good in our gold. But, from what she understands, Rift in the uh, uh, home of the Thieves Guild, or whatever, she was she won't really know too much about Riften. She is from a uh, uh, high rock. Oh, little bunny. <clears throat> In my ADHD. <laughs> She's familiar with some places and only heard rumors. Hold there. Mm -hmm. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Visitor's tax. What's the tax for? Why would anyone pay a toll to get into the city? Never heard of such a thing. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Well, who would actually pay to go into a city? That's ridiculous. From what I understand of Riften, this would seem it's a shakedown. Call it what you want. You don't pay. Not, getting, not getting in. in. This is ridiculous. But I must get in, so if I must pay 80 gold here. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Let me open the gate, and you can head into the city. Hmm. Guess everything they say about... Don't listen to that you can head inside when you're ready. Down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Face sculptor. Welcome to Riften. Home of the thief skill. Oh. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs. Vermin creeping around the rat web. And I will be vigilant. <laughs> it's all the rumors on the thieves guild. She's like, I've heard rumors about the city being having the thieves guild in it. <clears throat> Be careful, you look. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at its Maven point. Blackbriar? Who is that? Fingers, and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Maven. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Excuse me. You're a stranger here too, huh? Oh yes, um, you're not from Riften? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a fresh-faced young woman, barely able to swing a mm. My travels have taken me from High Rock <coughs> to Vellenwood, elsewhere to ah. Arrowind, and all points in between. I'm from High Rock. So why are you in this city then? Many years ago I lost my blade, Grim Sever, within her Dwemer ruin. I took it as a sign that I was wasting my days in search of wealth. You and I are alike. You see a challenge and great fortune, but for me, well, that's I... where the similarities end. You well... see, Riften is my great beast to <clears throat> slay, and my fortune comes from gratitude and trust. Well, I'm not out after fame or fortune. I'm a vigilant of Stendhal, if you didn't know. I slay Daedra and Daedra worshippers. Tell me about these thieves, though. To call it a guild is ridiculous. How can people who would betray one another over a gold coin be considered part of an association? Hmm. They're the worst kind. Even the Dark Brotherhood abides by strict set of rules and traditions. <laughs> these thieves are just rebels. <clears throat> what do you think? Well, I completely agree that they're rabble. I don't agree that they're as bad as the Dark Brotherhood. The Br Dark Brotherhood kills people for money. But I agree. You know, I'm beginning to respect you. Other than Aaron, you seem to be the only other person I've met I might be able to trust. Since we share the same opinion of them, let me warn you that they're recruiting others to join their guild. Recruiting others. should be cautious. <clears throat> well, I will be... Safe travels. I'll be I've safe. Thank you. Observer. The old told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Of course not. Day I'll venture out and see if she's right. And just be wary of vampires and Daedra and Daedra worshippers. It's already a couple of shady looking characters.
When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get wrong? Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? <coughs> Look, Sean. <coughs> pay up or else. All I care about is the goal. Else? There's obviously a member right there, judging by her bearing and... Maybe the armor. Hmm? Uh, sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Experiments? What experiments? My mind is on my experiments today. What did you need? Oh, what, what, what about experiments? Is it alchemy? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. Oh. However, the road <clears throat> She's like, oh, I was gonna say, experimenting with what? Master Elgrim says I'm a natural. <clears throat> That I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. Hmm. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients. Oh. Some of which are almost irreplaceable. Irreplaceable? What sort of ingredients? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 death bell, 20 hmm. and 20 nern root. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? Well, they don't sound like anything that would make a potion to heal, but if it means helping out someone in need, then sure. That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. <clears throat> You're welcome. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. Lending a help in hand, and this one tells me, hurry up. You go to the BM Barb. Stay out of the ragged flag and stay out of the rat way. The rat way. The Imperials think we need laws. Well, obviously, these, this city favors Stormcloaks. I mean, it really is in the rift, and this must be the temple. <clears throat> and she's like, oh, <clears throat> she wouldn't be uncomfortable in Temple of Mara. I mean, Mara is one of the, the vigilants, especially one supposedly Stenner has some kind of kinship with. So she's like, oh, priests, hello. How may I help you, my daughter? Uh... Do you accept any kind of charity? Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation. Right now, the best you could provide is coin. We need all the help we can get. Well, of course. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. <clears throat> I mean, definitely seen better you days. Benevolence and safety. Yes. I'm actually looking for a warrior bishop named Hemond. Yes. yes. Oh. She's gonna be like, oh. Hello. <laughs> this silver, oh no, it's a steel greatsword. <clears throat> She's gonna be uh, <clears throat> rather smitten. Hello. You a little shy. I mean, he's not a standalone follower, he doesn't have AI, he's just your basic, basic follower. Hello, are you Hemant? Hmm? Um, I am thirsty, Bishop. Did you have any water by chance? Of course. Thank you. Um, well, my name is Liara, and I'm a vigilant of Stendhal. I was told that you could aid me and... Well, fighting Daedra and vampires. Could you follow me? That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Really? Well, all right. What can I do for you, friend? Thank you. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Well, we shall go and spread the light of Mara and Stendhal together. 
are Daedra, and there are dangerous creatures, and I hear you are very powerful. Very powerful paladin and warrior priest. And I would like to have you come with me. Are you ready to go? Hmm? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Of course. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll call that an episode. Got our bishop here. <clears throat> I have him uh, on one of my other, uh, uh, one of my other characters, and he's pretty powerful. And we could summon him and learn some of his, uh, uh, spells. Which I'm going to learn. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna call it an episode. Thank you very much for tuning in, and have a lovely night. Bye-bye.